My name is Isabel Clark. I'm Head of Media and Film at Carlton Newman College and I am going to talk to you about media studies today. For media studies, we study a whole range of media texts. Uh, we start to explore ideas about the way media language works, the way in which people are represented and also the way in which audiences might respond to or interact with the media text. We also do some work um, exploring media industry, so particularly we're thinking about the film industry, the newspaper industry, computer games, and how that affects the products that are made. So you'll never see the media in the same way again. You'll always see media texts in a much more in-depth, analytical way. We look at films, we look at um, adverts, we look at newspapers, and we really, really dig down into how those products are working. We think about who they're targeting, we think about how people are being represented, how the stories, for instance, in newspapers and magazines are representing the people in those products. In class, we spend a lot of time in quite a traditional way, um, teacher-led learning, um, with students listening, taking notes, analysing text, often do group work, so small groups look at the text together, we feed back. But part of media studies also involves doing coursework and developing some practical skills as well. So probably about one lesson a week, we'll spend time on the Macs, which you can see around me, and you'll be working on Photoshop, perhaps working on making websites, or working on doing some filming and editing. So there's a good range of activities. You're going to develop your um, essay writing skills, your research skills, but you're also going to get some really useful practical skills as well. So there's a good variety of activities on this A-level, reinforcing the skills that you'd need on different A-levels as well. So essay writing skills will help you with sort of English, history, sociology, politics A-levels, and then the practical skills will work, reinforce what you're doing, perhaps if you work in a more creative subject. Entry requirements for A-level media studies are five, fives at, at GCSE. You must have a grade four in English language. And that does mean that media studies is quite a good course if you want to mix it with BTEX as well as A-levels. So it very much is up to each individual student. You can use media studies alongside subjects, essay writing subjects such as history and English and politics and sociology and philosophy. All of those subjects would work really well with media studies. But equally, you can um, use media studies alongside subjects such as photography and art. Um, so the more where you've got more creative skills, again, graphics as well, these work together really well. So because we're working in both essay writing and analysis, as well as practical skills, you can use this A-level to enhance your essay writing subjects or to work alongside the more creative subjects as well. 70% of the grade is exam, 30% of the grade is coursework. So it does mean that you're being assessed in different ways. So for instance, if you're choosing other subjects which are 100% relying upon exams, it's quite nice to have media studies in the mix because you've also got a coursework option there as well. So it just helps to balance out other subjects which might be more exam-based. And it does mean that you're assessed for your creative skills as well as your essay writing skills at the end of the course. For coursework, we um, do a lot of magazine work. And you can see some of the work students have done behind me. So each year, the exam board gives the students a brief and they're told to perhaps make a magazine that targets a mainstream audience or perhaps make a magazine that targets a more independent and perhaps a younger audience who want to change the world, an audience of reformers. We don't just make magazines, though. We also will make a linked website. And if you prefer, we also offer the opportunity to make a music video and then perhaps linked web pages or linked magazine pages that link back to the band you're promoting in the music video. So whichever choice you make, there's lots of opportunity to develop some really, really useful practical skills that will be useful really, I think, whatever career you go into in the future. The results for A-level media studies have been outstanding over many years, so you can rest assured that if you do A-level media studies at this college, you'll get the best result possible. 
We do a range of trips in this department, including go to screenings of new films or films that we're studying, um, to talks about the films that we're studying, perhaps with producers or directors. But our best, you know, the best trip we've been offering really for the last, last 10 years now is the trip to Los Angeles, which is a trip for film and media studies students, as well as our VTech creative media students. And we go to Los Angeles, we look at the film studios, we do a cinematography workshop, we go and have a look around Hollywood, we go to loads and loads of different um, locations where famous films have been filmed. So it's a really, really fantastic trip, really eye-opening. And whichever course you're doing, it helps you understand the industry context to the films, um, the major products that you're studying. Yeah.